Thank you, everybody. I'm, I'm really honored to be up here today, and I'm honored to have been given this award. Big surprise, sitting on the sofa at home a year, a year ago, right? So I know how it feels. I know how important it is. I'm really thrilled that the person I'm going to give it to, though, is actually here. So I made a couple of prepared notes. So I wouldn't, uh, although I could probably do this without this, but I'm going to use it. Um, First of all, I was talking pretty extensively with this person right before we sat down. And he had no idea, I don't think, that he was going to be given this award. So I'm really happy to please announce Phil Harvath as the, this year's light bulb moment winner. I'm so excited. I will tell you about Phil coming up. Phil is the CEO of Chatter Salons. Phil serves on the board of Beauty Changes Lives, and is a creator of Unite as One. Phil's persistence throughout the first year of Unite as One kept the efforts alive, and now we're seeing walls break down between beauty associations like never before. Real, meaningful conversations are happening like never before. This unprecedented collaboration was made possible by Phil. It was his idea. He's the one that drove it home. And I wanted to say that, you know, I was on a lot of the Zoom calls. I believe I was almost on the inaugural call. And this guy, the energy to pull everyone together, to stay on message, to get the nail people to talk to the skin people, to get to talk to the crazy hairdressers, <laughs> to get the school people to talk to, all the way down the line, it worked. And it's working. And I just, just have to say, after my 52 years in this business, I love the honor and the pleasure of continuing to participate and watch the transformations as we go forward. So Phil, I really take my hat off to you, man. Thank you so much. Thank you, my friend. Hey, Phil, congratulations on this very well-deserved honor. I know the industry has been very good to you. It's good to us. And we've all benefited from all the work that you put in to ensure that we give back to our community. So congratulations. Phil? Congratulations. I appreciate having you as a friend and love working with you because you get things done, are completely reliable, and always are the voice of reason. Again, congratulations. Hey, Phil, and congratulations of this great recognition. I don't know about a light bulb moment. You have had a light bulb career and you inspire us, you lead us, you teach us, and truly have brought the industry together to unite as one. We are in your debt and honor and we celebrate you. Congratulations. Hi, Phil. I'm overjoyed by all your accomplishments, my friend. I want to express my heartfelt congratulations. I'm proud to know you, Phil, someone who is so committed to making a difference in the beauty world. Your light bulb moment and contributions are inspiring and you truly deserve this honor, Phil. Wishing you continued success as you continue to make a positive impact in our world. Congratulations again, my friend, Sam. Well, uh, Tom, when I came up, said, are you surprised? I am freaking surprised, I'll be honest with you. I had no clue whatsoever. Um, truly, though, uh, I'm very much honored. Um, I'm a third generation from the beauty industry. My grandfather was a hairdresser back in the 1920s, 30s in Europe. Uh, my father was a hairdresser that immigrated to this country in 1956. Um, as a hairdresser, I always tell everybody he had his, his comb and his shears on a boat coming from Europe to the United States to live his dream and build a, a life for his family. And I was lucky to be born into that family. Um, I've shared this with many before, but one of my first memories of this industry was when I, I think it was probably six or seven years old, my dad said, you know, we're going to have this guy over for dinner um, tonight. He's kind of crazy. Don't worry. If it gets a little nuts, it, it'll be okay. That person was Horse, Horse Recklebacher. So at the age of six or seven, I had dinner with Horse Recklebacher. Um, this was before Aveda. This was when Horst and my dad were both Austrian hairdressers, were crazy Austrian hairdressers, loved to party. Um, and, uh, and one of my fondest memories was my father had a chain of salons and we owned and operated salons in the uh, Colorado marketplace. Uh, Michael the Carlisle was the, the trade name we operated under. And I grew up in that environment. And two things I'll share about that story, which I think are, are pretty interesting, is one of our salons, this is probably 1974, probably, uh, had a potbelly stove in the middle of it. 
I went in there and customers were hanging out and it smelled kind of funny because they were smoking marijuana in the middle of the salon. That's our industry, right? The other story I'll share is, as a teenager, my job was to go around and travel to fix up our salon. So every summer, my brother and I would be traveling in a van, and we'd paint our salons and fix them up. And I always said, this is an awesome industry. I'm 16 years old, and I work in these salons, and there's all these good-looking people around, right? So it was, it was a good gig. But, but I share that because, truly, this industry, um, and I'm going to talk a little bit tomorrow, but I'll, I'll ask this question now. How many of you that got into this industry, when you made a decision to become hairdresser, nail tech, esthetician, were told not to do this? Raise your hands. All right? She's about half the room when I ask that question. But then the second question I ask is, how many of you that are in this industry today love what you do? Raise your hand. Yeah? There is no other industry that if you ask that question, you will get that response. How many of you know people that hate what they're doing today and it's just they're doing it for a paycheck, right? Exactly. Beauty changes lives because most importantly, you change lives. We're at a time in our life right now in the world where human, the service of humans is what will become most important in society. Do you not agree? And this industry has always allowed us to serve human beings, but I think more importantly, it's gonna be more in future. And, you know, I appreciate this because uh, during COVID, which is challenging for, for all of us, um, my light bulb moment at that point in time was, I've been in this industry for 35 plus years. My family is indebted to it, I'm indebted to it. And it was time that I actually stood up and said, I wanna do something different. And that difference was, Finally, talking to all of these industry associations that all have served great purposes. And Beauty Changed Lives, where I've been involved in the last five years, was the one that I really wanted to get involved with because their pure mission and vision about advocating for the industry was pure. And for me, that was important, but it was more important to get all the associations together because in the end, united together is the only way that we can make impact. And for me, uh, that was more important to me than anything in my career. If there's anything, because I operate under the premise that people, as you go on in life, and I listened to a podcast actually earlier today, what people will remember, they won't remember all the cars you had, the houses you had, all those things. People remember, in the end, how you make them feel. Is that not right? Yep. And this industry, if there's an industry that really is focused on making people feel good about who they are, this is that industry. So thank you all for being part of the industry. Thank you all for being part of Beauty Changes Lives. And thank you for this. Truly, I am very honored and very, very, very touched. Tom.